Now we're gonna offset a scribe wall. And you might say, why do we wanna offset the scribe wall? We just shot many points on there. Well, some people would like a little wiggle room. If there's any complaint about our product that it's just a little tight. So let's suppose we were gonna offset this scribe wall this way, a 16th or an eighth or something like that, which would be easy to do, but, but for purposes of viewing this here, we're gonna do it a little bit more so you can see it easier. So I'm gonna draw um, offset offset a scribe wall. Now, let's do like a whole inch here so we can see it better. Now, this we're gonna talk about later, uh, removing the original. So I'm gonna say, okay, we're gonna offset this an inch. So what we do is we draw a box around this piece here, and if we miss anything, we just tap it like that. And if you tap it twice, it'll come back, so just make sure everything is dashed. Okay, so when we're done selecting, we hit done selecting, and then we tap the area that we want to go with it. So as you can see, everything perfectly moved down this way, okay? Now we're going to show you how to offset the line and erase the original line. So we draw, offset, offset scribe wall, and we check the box that says remove the original one, okay? So now when we drag across here and grab our back wall, like that. Notice we have a little piece here. We have to touch that again to get rid of him. And then we say done selecting and we go this way. Aha. Notice that we've eliminated the red line in the back. Now we can continue by, by boxing off this line and everything is good. So now we say again done selecting and go this way. But we have a problem. We have to clean up these three corners. Okay. So we're done with this and we want to fill it with a sharp corner on this wall here, which is good. And this one here, which is good. This we need to attend to. So let's zoom in on that little section there and show you what to do there. We call this uh, erase segment. So you tap on the intersection here and the end of that, which erases that segment. Now we're gonna zoom in on this corner because we have some problems here. The problem is that we have many points along here. Do you remember when we showed you the uh, measured points like this? And it showed you where the original one was. Now, don't forget, we have an offset now. So now we have to fill with this corner in. And the reason we zoomed in on it is so we make sure we do it right. We do a sharp corner here, touch the last part of this line and the last part of that line. And now everything is proper. And we're going to remove the display of the measured points. Now, because we always tell you to scribe drywall, and there's a reason for that, um, even if the customer wants backsplashes, you don't know exactly where to cut this. Someone back at the shop would have to make the determination of this, like this bump in the wall, how far to make a straight cut. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna draw a straight line in a different color. First, we would go to color, and let's change it to red in this case and we're gonna draw a segment from this corner to that corner. Notice this right here. I'm gonna zoom in on it a little bit to show you what's happening. Okay, if we were to draw a little straight line up here, because we need two points to measure to, so let's just draw a line that's five inches long and it goes this way. Notice this nice little thing here, we can determine which way we wanna draw the line. It's a one point line, it's going that way. And I'm gonna tap right there, so it goes straight up. Now let's zoom in on that and show you how much off or how much this drywall sticks out from a straight point. So we ask for the distance between there and there and notice that it's <laughs> .879 inches. That's more than three quarters of an inch. Now, if you're using a 3CM splash, that would fit. So, all we need to do is offset the red line, 0.879, and it will touch this and have the minimum amount of clearance everywhere else. So let's see how that works, 0.879. Now we offset 0.879, okay, and we ask this red line to come this way. Now, as we start to zoom out, you can see 
that that's where we would cut with a straight line and a saw is on the bottom line. Then everything else could be erased except for you want to save the file of the scribe. So let's suppose we're going to do this, the, the, the backsplashes in here and you want to make one straight cut with the saw. That's wonderful. But if the customer changes their mind and wants to go to a scribe wall with no backsplashes or maybe just a painted wall or a you know, chalkboard wall paint, uh, you have to have that scribe wall file to go back to. So this is how you'd cut a nice straight line and everywhere on the line is no more than uh, 0.875 inches. So as long as your splash is bigger than that, it will fit. You may have to cut the splash here so it can conform to that bump in the wall, but that's something that we do on a normal basis anyway. 